Hello, hello, and welcome, New Dupe fam. My name is Millie, and today we are going to talk about Spike and Slam. These are crucial tools that will help level up your gameplay. Now, without further ado, let's go! So what is a spike? According to Weivu Wiki, spikes moves used on an airborne target force opponents into a knockdown that can only be teched by holding back. They can usually be recognized as moves that spike opponents downward. They also initiate floor breaks when used on airborne opponents. Basically, if you used a spike as your combo ender, your enemy cannot do any techs or quick get-ups except for quick back roll. So with these types of enders, you can add an Oki follow-up. Here are some examples. In this scenario, Paul used back 2-1 as his ender, wherein he is charging the one which hits Huarang on the ground if he did not back roll. In some cases, you can select a follow-up move that hits both on the ground and even if they back roll. Take the same example of Paul earlier. Now during heat, this follow-up can hit Huarang on the ground and after back roll. Here are more examples. Now what is a slam? According to Weivu Wiki, similarly to spikes, slams initiate floor breaks when used on mid-air opponents. They do not leave opponents face down. Same with spikes. The enemy cannot do any techs or quick get-ups, but this time even quick back roll will not work usually because the enemy is not face down near you. Here are some examples. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to comment your feedbacks and suggestions. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this.